All right, now a little follow up on our previous tutorial that we had. Okay, um, some people are having issues importing from where we were into EasyCAD. So I got with Jacobo over at Sick Dog Firearms. And we, <laughs> we've been uh, tackling on this for like the past four hours this evening. And so since it's fresh in my mind, I wanna go ahead and, um, and get this over to you guys. So uh, from where we were, like once you got your gun template, right? And you are ready to go. Now, as I mentioned before, if you export, it'll flatten the, um, the uh, it'll flatten the pattern and then you can import straight into EasyCAD. Well, apparently that's not the case. There's a little workaround and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So as you see here, we have our templates. We're our template done. We got the pattern we want. It's at the size we want it at. And we're like, hell yeah, this is good. So with this, what you're gonna do is you're going to file, save as, and then you're gonna save it as an AI file. You're like, what, AI, it's crazy. I know, it's crazy. Like I said, me and Jacobo have been tackling this <laughs> past few hours, like this is like Mission Impossible, but well, we got it. And uh, I wanna say big thank you to him and for reaching out and, um, and we getting this taken care of. Now, if you're on one of the more complex patterns and, this, and, and it doesn't work quite like this does, it's okay. Um, we're working on, you know, it shouldn't only maybe be a few of those that do this, but this is the majority. This is how it's going to work for you with Corel. All right. So back to it. So you have your template, you have the pattern where you want it, you're ready to go. Okay. So you go to file, save as, and then you're going to save it as an AI file. Uh, make sure, uh, just don't have selected only just so you don't miss something or whatever. So save and that's fine. You go. Okay. I'm like that's weird. AI file. I know this is crazy. You go ahead and close that one out and file open that test file or, or name it test file, but that's the one we just saved. So we open boom. It's back. Like, all right. So what's different, Steven? What's the, what, what is this all about? And you click it. Look at the fill, pattern's gone. It's been expanded, which is a term in, in Illustrator that you would do. Now, in a further inspection, you're looking at it and you're like, what the hell? There's lines everywhere. Like, dang it, it's okay. We, we figured this out. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Oh, crap, ignore that. Still using the hotkeys from Illustrator. All right, so one thing you'll notice is if you click around, sometimes you'll be able to click an individual piece. And sometimes it'll click the whole thing. All right. Now, Jacopo recommended that we don't delete these and save them. Um, either way, if you have your template, you can just pop this right back in when we're done. Um, but we'll, we'll do it both ways. So for the one I, I prefer, because it keeps cleaning our lines, just delete it. Okay. And now we're going to click on the artwork again and you see how it's all that. So now for this section of the slide, to the top left, click and drag where you're selecting everything in this section. Now you're gonna go up here to your tool panel at the top. And these tools right here are the equivalent of the Pathfinder tools in Illustrator, which are, are the most important tools in the world, okay? But what we're gonna use here is the weld option. Okay, so you click that. Depending on your computer and the file, it may take more time to do. So if it's rendering for a while and you're getting frustrated, you know, just go take a coffee break, come back and it'll be good to go. Um, it is a lot of little pieces. And so depending on your computer, but yeah, this is, this is it right here. So boom, we got that. And you can make it black, red, whatever, purple, orange, whatever color you're gonna do. Maybe just uh, let yourself know you have that one done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the pistol grip. All right, let's get the um, pick tool. You're gonna click around all the individual elements to 
Did he find that sweet spot? There we go. See how I highlighted the whole thing? I'm gonna do it again. Clicking around. It's like Easter, you're finding all the eggs. And then all of a sudden, you know, going around. <gasps> Grandpa pops out of the bushes. Blah, blah, blah. And then you have childhood trauma for the rest of your life. That's the one you want. I'm gonna recommend you delete that. Okay. Now select and drag until it's all selected. Then you go up here to the tool toolbar at the top. Hit the weld button. And now we wait. Boom. Take that grandpa jumping out of the bushes scaring people. All right. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do all this with you guys. So we make it very repetitive. All right. And if you're clicking in the background, I'm sorry. I didn't have time to really soundproof the room before I uh, threw the audio equipment together. All right. So we click, boom, grandpa came out of the bushes immediately. That's good. Delete. Click. All right. Double check. I click and drag. Weld. Boom. Done. Little piece. Easy peasy. Market is done. All right, now we got this little piece right here. Boom, immediately out of the bushes. There we go. Delete. Click and drag. Excuse me. Weld. Mark is done. All right. Boom, immediately out of the gates. Delete. This is my Easter. And then weld. Boom, mark is done. All right, boom, out of the gate. Click, drag, select all, top bar, weld, boom, mark is done. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got top of the slide. All right, let's just saw We ain't scared, we got this. Click around, we're gonna find it. Boom, out of the bushes. Sorry for scared you. Delete, select, grab all, weld, mark is done. Right on, right on. All right. Now, if you ask me why it's doing this, I have no idea. All day today, basically, I've been researching online, trying to figure out why Corel is the way it is with pattern fills. It doesn't make sense. But like I said, I was at the end of my rope. I was like, lady, that's it. We're moving to Alaska and you're going to be a lumberjack dog and I'm going to be a dancer and we're just going to leave this life behind. That's where I was at. But Jacobo from Sick Dog Firearms, you know, what? he was like, you know, what, bro, we got this. We're going to figure this out. He was determined as I was. And we figured it out. And so, yeah. So not to distract you, I'm ADHD, and so I'm always all over the place. So I'm. this is why these tutorials are so hard for me to do. But yeah, all right, so focus, focus. Let's get back on the template here. All right, what do we got to do? Oh, Grandpa's in the bushes again. We got to find him. Looking around. Boom, Grandpa comes out. This time you hit him with the stick. Delete. Select all. Weld. Mark is done. This is your Easter. All right. Now, normally the full template would have, you know, both sides. This was really just to show you guys and not ramble on for too long. Like in the last one, I was talking about David Blaine and all that kind of stuff. Also, if you did Google David Blaine cheese it, so you're awesome. I hope you enjoyed it because I think that stuff is hilarious. So we're gonna mark it all as the same color. And then you're gonna go file, save as, Find your little little friendly SVG. Stupid vegans galvanizing. Or silly vegetarians groping. Yeah, SVGs, acronyms are fun. So yeah, save it. And then okay. And that's it. And now, you know, to recap what we went over here, 
was before, remember in my other tutorial, I showed y'all how to do the pattern fill on the templates, okay? And we ran through that and it was pretty, pretty simple. And then now the only difference is once you have that done, you're gonna save that file as an AI file. Then you're gonna close out the file you were working on, open that AI file right back up with the template you, you were done with, and then you're gonna go through this process. And you're gonna go through, and, and like I said, you're gonna see those lines and it's gonna look weird and not right. But that's just how it needs to be done. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for your time. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. Thank you lady for not annoying the hell out of me while I was making this and being a trooper. We don't have to go move to Alaska now. I don't have to be a dancer. I can still be an artist doing this, selling awesome artwork to you guys, you know, builds, bundles and badass firearms. Like a, you know, a little tagline I came up with is cheesy as hell, but pretty much true. But yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, thanks again uh, for uh, Jacobo at Sig Duck Farms for helping me out with this. Like, like I'm, it's, this is great. This is great. This is how it needs to be done. This is, Easy Cat is a weird, weird monster. But like I explained it before from my experience in the sign industry, we had what was called ripping software. And that software was the transitional software between uh, our main software that we edited in like Corel or Adobe Illustrator once we were, we were our artwork was production ready just like this right here we exported our artwork to go it was in a different computer too but it was Flexi and Onyx and a few other ones but you opened the files in there you didn't really want to edit too much it was just a weird software basically its main purpose was to take your artwork and, and send it to the printer or send it to your laser engraver. That's really all you want to do in there. If you fit around too much, it's just there's, from what I understand, there's so much going on that it's overwhelming. So having your artwork prepared and ready before you go on EasyCAD is, how, you know, how I would recommend going about it. That's how I can relate, you know, being in an industry with printing and all that. And yeah, once again, thank you guys for your time. Um, you know, just, you know, take a minute here to say, you know, Happy New Year to all you guys. I hope you all from last year who purchased from my store enjoyed the surprise that you got. Um, that was really fun to make. You know, I definitely want to do a few more rifles now. But, you know, I definitely wanted to show my appreciation for y'all's business and support the past few months. And I'm excited about 2020 and what we got going on here. And so I want to continue that. And so that's why I'm, I'm very um, hard on myself to make sure that I have all the bases covered. Uh, will I do patterns in the future? Maybe. Uh, it won't be every month, that's for sure. It's very complex. Um, also, a little shout out to the to the, the fun person that was on the uh, Facebook group saying, oh, you're lazy if you just buy those patterns. You can just download them off Google and image trace. Yeah, you could if you want your artwork to look like soggy noodles and not be able to edit. You know, one of the perks with this one, remember in my last tutorial, we were able to scale down, you know, the size, manipulate how we want it. Like that's that's it's the extra step in there. So, you know, don't be a hypocrite, you know, <laughs> don't you know bash my work and then you're the one being lazy. Now, I want to say, too, there's nothing wrong with doing the Google thing and, and vector tracing or whatever you're doing. That's cool, you know. But like I said, with this artwork and why, you know, it's it's a lot more complex and you need to have a little bit more patience with it. But there's a lot more. I mean, there's an infinite possibilities with these patterns. It's really, you know, really cool. And um, one other thing, you know, I guess while we're here... <laughs> I don't know how to end these things. I would just walk away from my desk. I don't know. I don't know. So we're just going to keep doing stuff. Why not? So the download folder, set one. We can go to set one B. Now, if you're having trouble opening the files, I understand. Just give us some time. These are big files. Heavy, heavy. 
But I will say, at the end of the day, for some reason, you, you got like a Walmart from the gas, or you got a computer from the gas station, you know, next to the discount cigarettes. Okay. Your computer may not run this. And that's okay. If you have that computer from, from Circle K, all right, just email me and I'll help you out to get what you need done. Um, I know some of y'all reached out to uh, Jacobo, and that's cool. But I want y'all to know, too, y'all can come talk to me, and I'm more than glad to help y'all with this. Okay. What was I doing earlier? I don't remember. All right. I'm going to select this one. File. New. Remember, don't work any source files. It always ends up bad. Like dating a stripper. All right. Close that out. And boom. All right. File. Save as. Because I tested this earlier after I got off the phone. And it worked. So if you end up. Um, hold on. I gotta find my stuff. If you end up opening one of the patterns and like, you know, if you open the AI, that was one of the other things. Like if you open an AI file uh, with these pattern fills in Corel, you know, the universe is like, hell no, hell no, son. Well, I'm, I'm back to say, hell yes, hell yes, son. Those lines, those are nothing. I ain't scared of you. Boom. Oh, what is this? The lines, the disaster. Too much. No, it's all right. And then delete. Oh, well, went right off the bat on this one. Remember, clicking around. Some of the stuff you can select, you know. And then boom, grandpa's in the bushes again. Delete. Select all. You just drag and click and select everything after you delete that invisible border. We'll weld. Boom. Done. Take that, grandpa. Thanks for the Easter basket, you pretty bastard. Boom, there we go. Now, this is how you have, like I said, the, the similar term in Illustrator is to expand. And when you do that, it takes away the pattern fill. So it's not like Jacobo described it as a wallpaper, where it's not mask. It's, you're back to vector 101. Now you can edit all the little nodes and everything in the world. That's it. Y'all are good to go. So yeah, thanks again for your time. I'm now going to awkwardly end this tutorial with another fun fact. And that would be the Egyptian pyramids were meant to be tombs, right? Well, why did they have they not ever found one mummy in these tombs? Hmm. Lady, do you know? No, she don't know either. Were they really tombs? Did the Egyptians really build them? I'll leave that to you. Until next time, have a great time.